Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm a new member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And it feels so good to say that. Like, I'm just so happy that I finally get to be a part of the church. So a few months ago, I had been looking for a church to call home. I had tried a lot of different churches, but none of them really felt right. And I had really gotten into PBR, which is professional bull riding. I always look at people that are close to my age and kind of cheer them on a little bit more. One of the bull riders in my favorite bull riding team, his name is Kate Madsen, just left to go on a mission for two years for the church. And I got to watch an interview of him and he talked about the church just so beautifully. And I was just like, okay, you know what? This church sounds really good. Like I really wanna get to know more about the church. His story impacted me, which is the reason why I searched up the church filled out a referral one night to meet with the missionaries and then they reached out to me the next day or so and then we started our lessons and here I am now. As I read the Book of Mormon uh, I had just learned so much. Every time I read it, every day that I read the Book of Mormon I get something new from it, something that I get to use in my everyday life and I've just grown so much as a person and in my spiritual life as well. Having questions is so important and it's so great because that's how you get to find out the answers that are important to you. Don't just like trust what your neighbor's neighbors have said about the church or anything. Like truly um, put some effort into it. Ask people that are from the church that know their stuff. And I think that will lead you really far. So leading up to my baptism, I was insanely nervous. I was super anxious. I started to pray. I was like, okay, Heavenly Father, if this is truly what you want me to do, if this is the true church, then please just take all this anxiety and all these nerves away from me. And ever since that day, I had felt this peace that just absolutely makes no sense. And I, I knew that this was the right decision. And the day of my baptism, I woke up, I was excited. I couldn't wait. I had no nerves, no anxiety, no, no fear, no doubts, nothing. I was just ready to get in that water and become brand new. I felt really loved. Like a lot of people from the church showed up. My parents, they're not really on board with the church, but even they decided to show up and, and support their daughter. So I was super grateful. Hi. Oh, yeah, oh I couldn't believe it. Elder Smith just like showed me the phone. You know who it is? <laughs> yeah, I know who it is. I'm super, super, uh, super proud of you. Oh, um, thank you. I know uh, it's uh, it can be hard at times, um, but I know that this this is the true church on the earth, um, and yeah. I know that your heavenly father is very proud of you for making thank that you. sacrifice. Thank you for you sharing know. your story. It's so incredible and. I'm proud of you for still pursuing like your mission, even though I know it was probably really hard to to do. So thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, everything that I have has been uh, because of uh, because of my father and his uh, I've been very blessed in my life, and um, I just thought it'd be very selfish of me not to sacrifice just a little bit of my time to uh, give back. That'd be my only advice to you is to right. keep reading the Book of Mormon. Yeah. It's uh, definitely a huge help. Um, and it's there to, to guide and direct you. Well, thank you so much. I'll definitely be cheering you on on your mission, but thank you for, for sharing your story. Well, it's really, really powerful. Yeah, yeah. That was, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no words. Okay. So before, I would feel the Holy Ghost just like sporadically, like whenever I would pray or whenever I read my Bible, but after receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost, I feel it every day, every second, because I've never felt that before, so getting to live every day now having that reassurance that I'm not alone and that um, my Heavenly Father loves me is just like the biggest blessing I could ever ask for. Growing up I would always see Jesus Christ as kind of like my best friend so that to me meant that I could do whatever I want because he's my best friend and he wants me to be happy. That's very wrong, do not think that way. My grandfather he got really sick and that really took a toll on me. Whenever he passed away I asked Heavenly Father, I was like okay if you're real please take this pain away from me because I'm really hurting, like I really miss my grandpa. And um, that next day I woke up with this piece that just made no sense and that's how I knew that I needed to learn more. He's still my best friend, but because he's my best friend, he wants what's best for me, not what I think is best for myself. I've really grown fond of Jesus, I love him so much, and I'm just so grateful that now I get to have Jesus in my life. My biggest advice would just be to open your heart and open your mind. But the world is gonna hit you with so much misinformation, with so many opposition, and just listen to what um, Heavenly Father is telling you. Listen to what God is telling you. <laughs> doubt your doubts. Don't doubt your testimony. <laughs>
<laughs> and so I think that's my biggest advice. Just like keep moving forward, keep searching, keep asking questions, um, open your heart, open your mind. And I know um, with you just taking that step that Heavenly Father is going to do the rest.